The Patriots stunned the NFL world as they often do on draft weekend when they made University of Chattanooga guard Cole Strange the 29th overall selection in the 2022 NFL Draft. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media and Cole Strange, FCS product out of Chattanooga, senior bowl standout, combine superhero, tested as one of the best athletes in Indianapolis at the scouting combine. And look, I'm going to put the positives first, and then we'll get to the big picture negatives at hand with Strange and ultimately what the Patriots are trying to do here is draft another Logan Mankin. So when you watch this player on tape, you see a very good athlete, somebody that stood out against top competition when he got the chance to against the University of Kentucky and a pretty good defensive line for the Wildcats last season. And also down at Mobile at the Senior Bowl, physicality, athleticism, can execute multiple blocks, certainly move people off the line of scrimmage and get out in space and block on the move. He has all the traits and all the physical tools to develop into a starting NFL guard and maybe a long-term starting NFL guard for the Patriots starting 44 career games at Chattanooga. That's the positive spin on this draft choice. A starting guard fills a need after Shaq Mason and Ted Karras left this offseason. That's the spin. The negative about this has to be about positional value and reaching on a player that many experts and teams, just ask Sean McVay and the Los Angeles Rams, pegged as a third or a fourth rounder in this year's draft. Somebody that a lot of people anticipated coming off the board, potentially on Saturday, let alone on Thursday night. And when you look at the positional value of guards, according to Pro Football Focus, one of the least valuable positions in the entire NFL, according to their analytics gurus. And you also line that up towards a position of need for the Patriots on defense. For instance, like corner, who is the second most valuable position in the entire NFL behind quarterbacks. Cornerbacks last year produced a total war among the top 32 corners in the NFL. All the number one corners in the, across the 32 teams. They accumulated a war of over 264 Compare that to the guards, the top 32 guards in the NFL, including Joel Petonio, Zach Martin, Quentin Nelson, and all the all pros and all the studs. They only produced a war of four and a half. That's the issue with this Cole Strange pick. Does reaching on a guard with a 29 selection in the first round move the needle at all for the Patriots and what is a loaded AFC and playoff race, even in your division? You have the Buffalo Bills, for the class of the division now. You have the Miami Dolphins who just traded for Tyree Kill. The Jets are making moves. They drafted three players in the first round tonight, including wide receiver Garrett Wilson, to give Zach Wilson some help on the offensive side of the ball. And meanwhile, the Patriots are taking guards. And that is a tough pill to swallow for New England. I don't care about Strange. It has nothing to do with Cole Strange. He might very, very well be a seven-time Pro Bowler just like Logan Makins was, and they might have a Logan Makins redux on their hands with this selection. Ultimately, what it comes down to is that it won't move the needle. It won't move the needle for the Patriots in the AFC one iota, regardless of how good Cole Strange is. And this is backed up by the math. You look at Joel Petonio, you look at Zach Martin, you look at Quentin Nelson, you even look at Shaq Mason and some of the other guards the Patriots have had, like Joe Tooney. These guards simply do not make the team significantly better, even when they're Pro Bowl and all pro talents. And Cole Strange has that ceiling. He has the ceiling and the potential to be a Pro Bowler in the Patriots system. The problem is, is that is not going to help you shrink the gap, the 47 to 17 gap between the Patriots and the Buffalo Bills right now. The Patriots did not make any headway on shrinking that gap on Thursday night by selecting Cole Strange. We will have a lot more coverage of the Patriots in the 2022 NFL Draft right here on Patriots Press Pass. They have 10 more selections over the next two days, including three picks now on day three, or day two, excuse me, after trading down from 21 to 29. The Patriots, the good news out of tonight was they made a good trade with the Kansas City Chiefs going from 21 to 29 to eventually take Strange at 29, the Patriots were able to add the 29th pick 
in the draft and two more picks in the middle rounds there in rounds three and four at one at 121 and one at the end of the third round so the good news is for the pats they have 10 more picks they have three more picks tomorrow at the very least and they might add another with those two fourth rounders so stay tuned the patriots still have time to save this draft but so far here in the first round it's a big pile of nothing for new england cole strange guard from chattanooga the 29th pick in the draft to the New England Patriots. And that's all we have this time. We will have you covered, like I said, for the rest of the draft right here on Patriots Pest Pass. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media. Thanks for watching, everybody.